What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another R Bitcoin. As always, links will be in the description. And if you do enjoy this content, we upload four or five videos a week, so consider subscribing. I'm Bitcoin Jayco9, and with that, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number 10 Fidelity set to launch physical spot Bitcoin ETF. So we're finally getting a spot Bitcoin ETF? Interesting. Number nine, Croatia's largest supermarket chain rolls out Bitcoin payments. Looks like adoption starting to happen. That customers are now able to pay across its stores with Bitcoin. Okay. Oh, but it's only for online purchases. Okay, so, I mean, that's still pretty cool, though. Still pretty cool. Number eight, these panic posts are annoying. Just effing hold your Bitcoin. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. People I know are finally getting into it, and there is so much misinformation being thrown around. I've been holding big, uh, I've been holding since 2015 and made many mistakes, such as selling early and seriously regret it. Don't we all, buddy? If you don't have bills to pay, just hold your money and effing stack. A 10 or 20% loss right now is nothing if you compare it to the potential price in 5 to 10 years. Bitcoin, in my humble opinion, should be used as a secondary savings account as all as this Wall Street's bets ape shit has got to go, man. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I do kind of agree with that. Like, if if you have it, just, just keep stacking it and just try to forget about it. You know, five, ten years from now, it's going to be way different than now, so. Number seven, why is Bitcoin going down today? I understand why stocks are in the red, poor job report, China delisting, Omicron, etc. But why Bitcoin? Because I mean, that's just how we are. We're in a we're in a, a channel that's going like sideways, and we're just kind of on the bottom end of it right now. Number six, don't make the same mistake my dad made by panic selling and, or ignoring the blue chip of the crypto space, Bitcoin. It's 1997. Inter it it's. 1997 internet stock days and corporations and banks want your Microsoft and Amazon stock of this space. Okay. All right, not too long. My father had 40K in Microsoft stock in the 90s, worth about 2.7 million by the time I was ready for college. Instead of me or my siblings being able to afford college, he sold it for $20 something thousands after taxes. Because he sold it all after hearing about how Y2K would ruin the computer companies. We had canned food for 10 years after the year 2000, but we couldn't afford college by the time it came for us to do that. The rich today own the mainstream media and social media companies. Don't trust the FUD on Bitcoin that you see anywhere today. Don't let them scare you out of your Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Alphabet, AB stock of the crypto space that they want. This is how we tip the scales to our corner we generate the value we can eventually channel that financial power to a majority financial control over the decentralized system that is bitcoin the html of the financial internet where all others follow its growth and drops okay as we're in the stock market executives issue themselves more stock every year to buy their next mansion yacht or flight to space all of that all at the cost of the value of their overall shares, diluting every other shareholder's value in the company. Don't let yourself sell your Amazon, Microsoft, and Netflix of the crypto space for the pets.com of this space thanks to billionaires trying to distract you from their real blue chip target to remove economic competition. Edit, thankfully I started saving in Bitcoin multiple halving cycles ago, helping my family recoup the value my family lost with the Y2K internet stock FUD. It's still early, you can do the same too. Don't let yourself be scared out of the next disruptory dis, disruptionary tech to come out of this decade, the internet of financial data. Yeah, I do think crypto and blockchain, like it it really hasn't um peaked yet of what is gonna be changing. Like I I still feel like we're only you know a few percent in to what blockchain and stuff can actually do for like world economies and and you know tracking stuff and stuff like that so <clears throat> number four five one two 
five. Okay, today I got a letter from my bank with a link to a survey about crypto where they are saying that they're thinking about offering to buy and trade crypto directly through them. I live in Switzerland. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Swiss banks offering crypto makes sense. Yeah. Number four, for those who are overwhelmed by this big price of Bitcoin right now and think it's too late to get into crypto, remember how overwhelmed you were when Bitcoin had its all-time high of 20,000 in 2017. Now imagine how overwhelming, overwhelmed you'd be when it hits 200,000 in 2025. So yeah, and since the all-time high in 2017 at 20,000, it went all the way back down to like 3500 at one point like there's massive gains that can always be made just gotta time the markets and um i mean just 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 watch them like if you just watch and get to know them then you can make some money dear everyone bitcoin and crypto are not the same please stop using them synonymously thanks is that just a tweet and is that it all Bitcoin is crypto, but all but not all crypto is Bitcoin. Yes, that's exactly true. So that's a really good one there. Number two, Bitcoin is no longer decentralized because banks and hedge funds are involved. Um, I see this stupid argument even in our Bitcoin. Banks, hedge funds, corps don't control the issuance of or total supply. Rich people buy Bitcoin doesn't mean it's co-opted. The promise of Bitcoin was never that nobody else would have more money than you. It was created with a supply that can't be manipulated and devalued like what's happening with every fiat currency. The goal is for everyone to use Bitcoin, and that includes bankers and CEOs. If you own one Bitcoin, you own one twenty-one millionth of the total monetary supply, and nobody can change that. Stop worrying about what other people have, and be glad that Bitcoin is the first asset that prevents anyone from taking what you have. Yeah, some facts there. Number one, nearly 90% of all Bitcoin will have been mined in approximately one week. Yeah, I think it's like less than 3 million. Is it 2 million now? I'd have to check, but it's less than 3 million Bitcoin left to um, be mined. So I need help understanding something regarding Bitcoin's limited supply. If 90% of the Bitcoin's mine get bought up by investors who are holding, then how does the price go up? Hypothetically speaking, if no one is willing to sell, then how goes the value go up? Also, how exactly is the price determined on these exchanges? I mean, there's always... It's crazy to think 90% has been mined, but all won't be mined for 120 more years. Yeah, 2140, the last Bitcoin. And the last Bitcoin is going to take a whole 40 years to mine also. So, like, that's another thing to think about. It's going to be crazy. Anyway, that's it for the R Bitcoin Top 10 past 24 hours. As always, everything is down below. Peace, love, and hodl.